Hello, thank you for joining with me in A Course in Miracles. This is the Foundation for Inner Peace, 3rd Edition. We are on Chapter 13, The Guiltless World, and we were picking up on Paragraph 6 in Section 4, The Function of Time. The shadowy figures from the past are precisely what you must escape. They are not real and have no hold over you unless you bring them with you. They carry the spots of pain in your mind, directing you to attack in the present in retaliation for a past that is no more. And this decision is one of future pain. Unless you learn that past pain is an illusion, you are choosing a future of illusions and losing the many opportunities you could find for release in the present. The ego would preserve your nightmares and prevent you from awakening and understanding they are past. Would you recognize a holy encounter if you are merely perceiving it as a meeting with your own past? For you would be meeting no one, and the sharing of salvation, which makes it the holy encounter, would be excluded from your sight. The Holy Spirit teaches that you always meet yourself, and the encounter is holy because you are. The ego teaches that you always encounter your past, and because your dreams were not holy, the future cannot be, and the present is without meaning. It is evident that the Holy Spirit's perception of time is the exact opposite of the ego's. The reason is equally clear, for they perceive the goal of time as diametrically opposed. The Holy Spirit interprets time purpose as rendering the need for time unnecessary. He regards the function of time as temporary, serving only his teaching function, which is temporary by definition. His emphasis is therefore on the only aspect of time that can extend to the infinite, for now is the closest approximation of eternity that this world offers. It is the reality of now, without past or future, that the beginning of the appreciation of eternity lies. For only now is here, and only now presents the opportunities for the holy encounters in which salvation can be found. The ego, on the other hand, regards the function of time as one of extending itself in place of eternity, for like the Holy Spirit, the ego interprets the goal of time as its own. The continuity of past and future under its direction is the only purpose the ego perceives in time, and it closes over the present so that no gap in its own continuity can occur. Its continuity, then, would keep you in time, while the Holy Spirit would release you from it. It is his interpretation of the means of salvation that you must learn to accept if you would share his goal of salvation for you. You too will interpret the function of time as you interpret yours. If you accept your function in the world of time as one of healing, you will emphasize only the aspect of time in which healing can occur. Healing cannot be accomplished in the past. It must be accomplished in the present to release the future. This interpretation ties the future to the present and extends the present rather than the past. But if you interpret your function as destruction, you will lose sight of the present and hold on to the past to ensure a destructive future and time will be as you interpret it, for of itself it is nothing. And we're going to stop there today. We'll pick up section five tomorrow. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. I'll see you then.